compared with heavy ales and porters from England, even non-German Minnesotans preferred German lagers. In 1905, over 360,000 German immigrants lived in Minnesota. They were the state's single largest immigrant population. German culture showed up everywhere, enshrined even in the state capitol building, where Cass Gilbert designed a Ratzkeller. A decade later, during a wave of anti-German sentiment arising from the First World War, the ornately painted German mottos and motifs were whitewashed, and the Ratzkeller was painted over. In 1930, the mottos were restored, but temperance advocates lobbied successfully to have three of them altered. Better to be tipsy than feverish became, temperance is a virtue of men. <laughs> but one motto was not contested by any Minnesotan, wet or dry. Noch einen gegen das böse Wetter. One more for that nasty weather. <laughs> Sheltering palms, praise the bamboo tree with its wide spreading charms. There's a little bush that grows right here in town. You know its name, it has one such renown. Often with my sweetheart, just after the play, to this little place, then my footsteps will stray. If she has a taste when she looks at the sun. 